So day three of our solar install and uh, last night before I uh, shut everything down I did what I tell everyone else to do is make sure you clean up after your task. That way when you come in to start a new task everything's ready to go. You don't have to spend time to clean up and uh, that way when you come in you can begin work. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and finish our false wall our panel we're going to install our controller and our uh, fuse for our solar panel shut off and then we can get everything mounted in and uh, hopefully get the batteries in and hook everything up and test it so let's get started so here's our charge controller we have an MPPT it's a 20 amp charge controller that we will be mounting on our board here and we're probably going to put that about right there like so and then we also have our uh, shut off for our solar power that we're going to have to punch a hole in and get that installed and then we're able to put this in place hook up our wiring and make sure everything is uh, is working properly so with that let me go ahead and get my uh, shut off switch I'll show you what that is and we'll mark it out get our holes cut and begin mounting this thing so this is our uh, Blue C series circuit breaker series 285 it's a 30 amp circuit breaker and uh, this is going to install uh, on the face of our uh, false wall here and it also has a uh, connection for our battery and our auxiliary so and uh, whenever I want to shut the power off um, I just push the red button and it will disconnect and no longer have power coming in from the solar panel so I need to uh, get our dimension here cut that into the face of our uh, false wall and get that installed and then we are ready to put our paneling in place okay so temporarily we have the false panel set in place we have the charge controller and we have the uh, fuse for the solar panel uh, mounted we also have battery number one and we also have battery number two so I have the negative to this battery going to the positive of this battery so they're both 6 volts and tying them in series gives me 12 volts the amp hours stay the same 200 amp hours then I have the positive from this battery going to my shutoff switch and right now it's in off because I don't have any power going into the distribution box and the negative of course is going into the distribution box so when I'm ready to wire in my lights, then I will um, turn that on and then we'll be, uh, we'll be in light. So I've got my wires coming in and everything is sort of, sort of in place behind the panel here. I still have the top to make so I can slide it in and I still have to fasten this on the front and put some trim and uh, call it good. So currently, my batteries are charging. So it's kind of difficult to see without a light. So let me uh, throw a little bit of light on here. So what are we looking at? So my solar is telling me that it is daylight and it is providing power to my batteries. And uh, it is charging. I have no load and uh, the, the solar panels are producing 14 volts and about 0.9 amps right now I'm sitting in the shade and it's producing 0 kilowatts an hour my batteries are at 13 point volt, uh, 1 volts and 1 amp is going in so we are charging they're at 25 degrees Celsius which isn't too hot and of course no load so we are 
under power. Now, so once I uh, install the lights, get those hooked up into my distribution box, then I will have some sort of load uh, pulling on the batteries. But for now, we're just going to keep it as is, let the controller do its thing, top off the batteries, and keep them maintained until we get the lights installed. Oh, I feel good about that. I was kind of worried at first. Uh, things didn't pop on as they should have, or at least I thought they should have. But then all of a sudden, uh, bang, there it was. So now, uh, my next step. Let me go ahead and secure the panel on the front, get my trim cut, get the top cut so I can be able to slide that into place. And then um, I'm also going to be uh, putting some trim around the bottom of the battery so they don't slide around. Not that I'm worried they will too much. Those things weigh about 70 pounds. And then uh, clean up my mess. Yeah. I've got a mess. Okay, so that is my next step. We'll go ahead and get everything fastened, get the lid put on the top of here, and uh, do a little cleanup. Stay tuned. Okay, things are looking good. We're getting them buttoned up. So we have our uh, false wall here. Hides our wiring and DC terminal block and a battery shut off. I also have the lid put on here and next I'll install a little handle here so I'll be able to slide this open and closed. Right now it's uh, pretty tight and uh, fits really good. So I need to install the handle. There's going to be a piece of mahogany trim that I'm going to put on the front and down the sides and along the bottom just to make it pretty and then uh, we're doing good what do we got here still it's working <laughs> that's what counts all right sweet in the shade we're only pulling about 0.3 amps so let's uh, go outside and Take a look on top. Ugh. I don't think I can get up there, but yeah, yeah, we're in the shade. So I didn't expect too much in the way of power, but. It works. That's a, that's a good point. Okay, so I have a mess to clean up in here. And then uh, I think I'll call that a wrap. So here's the last shot. The handle's going to be installed about right there. Nice little wooden handle. And uh, it just clears uh, the top here. So when I put the table on, of course, it's not going to hit that. So uh, And that'll help to pull it out and so I can have access in there. It won't be fastened down or anything, it's just going to be like a sliding drawer, but uh, it fits fairly tight so I'm not worried about it going anywhere. So I think that about does it for today. Uh, that is our solar power installation of the Lensun 100 watt, so it's 200 watts and uh, they're running in parallel so uh, I've got 200 watts and uh, we're doing pretty good. So charge controllers in, shut off is in, battery selector is on, well the shut off switch anyway, and our cabinet is built. So uh, with that, I don't know if I'll paint this or not, but uh, I think that's going to, uh, I think that's going to be good. So there we go. We have solar power. Next is my puck lighting. So I have some nice fancy little uh, aluminum billet 
puck lighting that I think is going to look great in here. And I'm going to install four across the front. I'll install uh, four across the back, and I'll probably install three above the uh, above the countertop. And uh, then there are three additional lights, reading lights, that I'm going to purchase and install. One on each end of the cabinet, and then one on the back side of the wardrobe, kind of facing down on top of the bed. So, uh, we are almost there. So, next step is the lighting, and then I think once that's all complete, then I will uh, worry and concentrate on the sink. Uh, winter time is coming, so probably won't be running any water out here anytime too soon. And uh, the little portable heater that I stuck out here I put in uh, last night kicked on and off and uh, it kept it nice and cozy in here. So I may or may not do that throughout the winter just so the batteries, uh, I don't have to pull them out and uh, um, keep them in the house and then worry about having to charge those. So I don't know couple things to think about as I go along. So, anyway, there you have it. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Here's the finished cabinet up front. And so we have the charge controller and we also have the uh, 30 amp shutoff switch for the solar power. And uh, a little handle here that we can access in behind. We need to get into our electrical. So that just slides right into place. Nothing fancy, just just like so. And uh, works great. I did uh, end up buying another handle, just like that's on the uh, cabinets and stuff. Put that on top and slid the table in place and it misses it. Whew! So that's pretty good. So there it is. The uh, solar is installed and charging the batteries and cabinet is finished. So that is it for the solar installation. Now it's just a matter of hooking up all the electrical stuff. So let's see what uh, what we're bringing in. So the solar is, is uh, charging and right now we don't have anything under load. Uh, the batteries are 14 and a half volts and uh, uh, looks like bringing about 0.4 amps. Batteries are ambient temperature and right now let's see what we're producing as far as volts from the solar power we should be bringing in there you go 21 volts is what we're bringing in and 0.3 amps 0.2 to 0.3 amps and the reason for that is it's raining out nice overcast day so with that we're still producing power and uh, we're just trickle charging the batteries so that uh, is working out good so that is the cabinet in front and it looks uh, looks like it should be there perfect all right thanks for watching and uh, as always like subscribe leave a comment and uh, we shall see you on the next video as we install our electrical uh, lights and switches and things like that. So stay tuned.